this computer. Yes, so, uh, oh, 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 one second. Yeah, so, hello everyone again. Uh, today with this uh, last, uh, last session of our series of Zoom sessions to talk about the University, uh, uh, about the University of Mishkots, about during last week and earlier today, uh, we got a chance to talk about the faculties programs and the procedure to apply for uh, the Stipendium Hungaricum uh, scholarship uh, and choose uh, how to choose a supervisor for your PhD. So I think enough in uh, uh, technical and administrative talking and let's move to the, uh, I think uh, this uh, fun session. Uh, so today we will we will talk about uh, uh, two things actually the uh, campus life uh, dormitory uh, uh, which dormitories are available for whom and also we will talk about sports uh, center sports activities um, uh, in the university so today with me there will be um, uh, Muhammad Al Hariri. He is the uh, hostel coordinator, uh, faculty coordinator. He's a, a student, PhD student at the Faculty of Economics, and he is responsible uh, for coordinating all the issues uh, happening in uh, the dormitory uh, uh, with the students. With me uh, also another uh, student who is Bernard Felix. He is a master degree student at the Faculty of Mechanical Engineering, right? Might I wrong? That's right. Yeah, okay. And uh, he is he's the coordinator of sports unit, which means that whenever we want, we need anything regarding the sports uh, center, we always go to Bernard and he can take of it. And uh, with us, uh, Rika Molnar, uh, she is the uh, <coughs> director of, uh, I think, sports center, right, Rika? I'm sorry if I'm mistaking with this information. No, yes, oh, yes, I'm the sport office manager. So, sport office if manager. you have any question about the sport possibilities or facilities, uh, I'm the right person to answer it. Yes, thank you very much for uh, for this. Uh, so, to start our session, I would like to start first with the dormitory. So, uh, Hariri, the floor the floor is yours. You can start. I, I will uh, stop talking and mute myself. Hello, everyone. <clears throat> As Mohammed Jaber told you, I'm Mohammed Al Hariri, uh, second year PhD student in the Faculty of Economics, and I am Hostels Unit Coordinator. And today I will be happy to be with you to answer a few, uh, your questions and to, tell, to tell you a few things about uh, the life in the campus. First, I will share my screen to show you a few things in, uh, using Google Maps. <clears throat> so here we can see uh, the dorms from Google Maps. It contains two parts. First one is the Bolai Collegium, uh, which is the, the, these dorms. It's seven buildings from one to six, and this is the seven. And we have the Uni Hotel dormitory. <clears throat> Actually, the uh, dormitories in Mishkols are one of the best and uh, largest, and largest uh, dormitories in Hungary. Uh, these six buildings, all of them for, uh, for students, uh, E6 for international students, and Uni Hotel, there is one block, which is this one for international students. Uni hotel mostly for PhD student and self paying student. And there is few master and bachelor degree students. And E6 mainly for master and bachelor degree student. Uh, uh, and you can see here e, the E7, which is the uh, administrative building uh, of E's. And now we will see a short video about uh, the dormitories to, to, to know how they look like from inside. Oh. 
Hello everyone, it's Mr. Zaid, and in today's video, we will show you the place where you will probably stay as an international student when you get accepted in Michigan University. But first of all, let's show you how you can get there. When you arrive to Mishkos using the train, this is the first place you will see. It's called Isai Station. Okay, now to go to the university, you'll need two single tickets. From here, you can buy your ticket. They accept cash and card. Of course, you can always buy your ticket from the driver, either on the bus or tram. But keep in mind that they accept only cash and the price of the ticket will be more. From here, you can use tram 1 or 2D since they both pass by the Silver Park station. Of course, don't forget to validate your ticket. It takes around six minutes and it's only three stations away. So this is Silver Park Station. And now we will cross the street and wait for the bus. From the central station, you will need to take bus number 12 or 10. The trip takes around 17 minutes and the station is called Egerton Police. The bus drops you in front of the new hotel, but before going inside, let me explain the university map. As you can see, this is the view from up. To make things easier, we can divide this map into three areas. The university building, the sports facilities, and the dorms, including the university. And this is where the bus drops. For more details about each building, you can download the map from the university website. Inside the uni hotel, there is also a gym, and as a student, you get a discount. Each room here is for two people. They have their own mini kitchen. and a shared bathroom with the room beside you. Now we will walk to the E6 building, which is five minutes away. On the right side, we will pass by E1, E2, etc. to E6.
six, the first floor is for guests. On the left side, rooms are for two people, and on the right side, rooms are for three. As you can see, the bathroom is shared. is for me. and there's a table for the students to eat. On the same side of the kitchen, you can see the room for two people. So a place for studying in the second floor. And of course, smoking is forbidden inside the building, but there is a smoking area. Thanks for Mustafa Zayed for uh, recording and producing this video. It was an amazing video. So as you saw in the video, the main difference between E6 and Uni Hotel is the uh, bathroom and shower room, uh, which is uh, shared for the whole floor in E6. And uh, in Uni Hotel, every two rooms uh, share the same bathroom and shower room. And the kitchen also shared for the whole floor in E6. And in Uni Hotel, each room has uh, its own uh, mini kitchen. <clears throat> and now I will show you the, how far the most uh, important locations from the uh, dorms. You can see here, 
the E6 is only six minutes walking to the main gate of university, and some faculties are, are nearer, like here, the information, uh, the informatics faculty. It's really near from E6. <clears throat> uh, Uni Hotel, uh, uh, also E6 is seven minutes walking to the sport facilities, as you can see here. And uh, Uni Hotel is uh, eight, uh, eight minutes walking to the main gate uh, to the university. And also here is Lidl, which is the nearest uh, shopping market from the dorm. It's only 10, 10 minutes walking to, from E6 to Lidl. And here is Tesco, <clears throat> is the second, second nearest uh, shopping uh, market to uh, E6. It's only 22 minutes walking. And Centrum is only 23 minutes uh, by bus from E6. Nearest church to E6 is this one. It's only uh, 20 minutes walking, 23 minutes walking from uh, E6. And there is only one uh, mosque in Mishkols. It's about 28 minutes uh, by bus from E6. <clears throat> and Mishkots, it has uh, Lela Foret, which is the most famous destination in Mishkots. You can reach it by one and a half hour by two buses and one tram. And Mishkots Tabolsa uh, here is only 20 minutes, uh, 40 minutes walking from E6 to Mishkots Tabolsa. And if you go jogging, you can reach it by 20 minutes. That's all from my side and uh, I will be ready to answer all your questions. Thank you. Thank you, Hariri, for uh, preparing this lovely video and showing us the, the map. Actually, uh, when I saw the video just before the, you know, the, this session, I remembered, la remembered last year when I first came to uh, the university and I moved to, you know, uh, Uni Hotel as a PhD student. So uh, you brought back uh, a lot of, you know, memories about, uh, uh, everything, even the smell of the room, you know, <laughs> how you know enter the, for the first time. It's really something uh, good to remember because it was really quiet and nice to stay there. Uh, and yes, uh, uh, I noticed that uh, in E6 kitchen there was uh, a boat uh, boiling on the gas. So yeah, usually whenever I visit E6, there is uh, always someone, you know. Uh, cooking something or preparing something. And uh, I remember every time I visit E6, even these days, if I get the chance to go, uh, there's always someone who is preparing something. I, I enjoy always, you know, tasting uh, everything. Uh, to, to tell you something, uh, kitchen in E6 is like the culture hub of E6. Yes. Always people gathering in the kitchen and uh, making small conversation. I really like E6, so that's why I'm living now in E6 not in uni hotel because I like to be more social, socialized with the other people. Yeah, yeah, because, you know, I remember that sometimes I come to E6 and someone is preparing some Indian food, Pakistani food, uh, Arabic food. So we always have this blend of smells yeah. and uh, always got the, the, the chance to taste. And uh, for me, I like the idea of tasting, uh, uh, tasting food. And uh, yes, you know that, Unfortunately, we were preparing together uh, this international food contest. Now with the, the restrictions and the COVID situation, we are postponing that. So yeah, uh, we have we have the dormitory and also we have a lot of programs uh, prepared by uh, Hariri and coordination with the um, International Students Alumni Board. Uh, there's always something happening uh, around. Uh, what else? You know, uh, you missed something from your presentation. What? You didn't show the, the students the main entrance of the university, the, the, the fountain. If you have, if you have something. <laughs> I can show because, some Google Maps, some photos if you want. Yeah, maybe. Uh, if, you, uh, if you have it now, you can share your screen again and show us. Because, you know, I, I think that uh, what's unique about the University of Mishkos is the modern, you know, um, uh, modern main building, uh, the main entrance, 
uh, yes, I remember last uh, the, the famous main building here in Mishkos. Yes. Think. Yeah, you know, I remember last year when when we came, I was amused by the uh, the interior of this glass, uh, you know, the yeah. glass the glass entrance. Uh, yeah, and the other day we were talking about, you know, we were talking about that there's a tradition in Mishkuls. Um, I don't know if you do it uh, when you were a master uh, student, when you finish your, when you finished your master. No, I actually. You did it? Did you jump in the fountain? No, no, I didn't jump. Ah, man, you should have, I think I would love to do it. So usually uh, students, uh, uh, when they get their um, uh, diploma or certificate, they, yeah, have like this, uh, they have this uh, a tradition of jumping in the in the font in the fountain just for fun and having some uh, yeah, uh, it's like celebration. Yeah, uh, thank you, Harry, really for for uh, telling us all those uh, information about the dormitory and uh, campus life. Um, I I believe it's it's really unique, and I I, I believe that. Yes, for me, every every session that was uh, going on last uh, week and today, I keep talking about uh, uh, the 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 campus and uh, campus life. Um, yeah. So, uh, Bernard, are you ready? Uh, just un un unmute yourself. You uh, you are muted. Oh, so sorry, so sorry. <laughs> I was already <Okay>. talking. <laughs> I'm here, Jabba. Thank you so much for having us, and thanks to to Hariri for that wonderful session for um, telling us about the the dormitory. I personally also stayed in the dormitory. It was a very nice experience. So I stayed for a whole year before before moving out because it's also nice. So it depends on where you want to stay. You can decide to stay in the dormitory or stay outside. We all, we have very wonderful um, environments everywhere in in Michigan. So thank you so much, Ariri, for that session. And now we we are going to talk about sports. Okay, so how do we begin? <laughs> Most of the times when we when we are looking to you know go to study, we are always like looking out for the best subjects and the best environments and things like that. And personally, when I wanted to come here, uh, Miss Colt, I was inspired due to like uh, its rich history, like um, in engineering and stuff like that. But somewhere on my mind, I also had sports there. So I, I had to do some research, you know, look at the use Google Maps, such as what Hariri has shown us, using Google Maps to look at how the school environment is and things like that. And uh, what I saw was actually very interesting. Uh, I don't know if I can uh, share um, the screen just like Hariri did. Uh, okay, I think I can do that and show you some of the facilities that we have here. Okay. So if you look at also the map, you can see the, the whole of this very large portion of land here is all dedicated to sports. And apart from this, you also have um, some other sporting facilities in there and also in the dormitory. So you can imagine what I'm talking about. So sports is actually like a very good, uh, like practice here in Mishkot, in, in Hungary as a whole, is a very sports-loving country. So we, uh, the school looks for a way to make sure that this culture is sustained, even in, in the university. University, we regard to this university as, as, a, as a city because you can see how it is built. Everything is available from uh, studies here to, to accommodation, to sport, everything is available in one place. So we regard it as, as a city. So actually sports here is a, uh, is actually very, very interesting. It depends on what you want. Are you like someone who is very much into sports, you're an athlete and you're, that, that your life is built around it or you are someone that just wants to keep fit. Everything is available to you. So uh, I'm sorry I did not uh, introduce myself. I am Bernard and I am an MSc student, mechanical engineering. And I'm also here with uh, a very important uh, person when it comes to sports in the university. She's the head of the, the sports unit in the university. I uh, represent the international students when it comes to sports. So I had the, I am the, um, should I say the uh, coordinator of sports for international students. But here we have 
someone who is the overall when it comes to sports and students in the university. That's Rekha Molnar, and she's here, and she's going to speak to us uh, about sports because she has more uh, knowledge about things like this. And if there is going to be any questions, she'll also be uh, here to talk to us and answer any questions that you might have. So, um, Rekha, it's over to you. Oh, thank you, Bernard. Uh, just to make clear, I'm not the head, I'm just the <laughs> office manager, but thank you. <laughs> okay, so uh, we have competitive sports and uh, of course, uh, free time activities and free time sports. So we have uh, like seven buildings for uh, sport possibilities, like uh, gym, um, outdoor multifunctional track, basketball court, uh, tennis center, athletics track, um, swimming hall, uh, sport center, like uh, uh, inside sports. And we have an artificial grass uh, football area and uh, and I think that's that's all. And uh, we have sport afternoons for everybody uh, who want to uh, have free time sports in uh, 15 sports like Zumba, running club, fanatic jump, dive box, box, aerobic, uh, badminton, table tennis, volleyball, uh, yoga, um, kung fu and uh, football, basketball, and uh, personal trainings. So I will show a video of uh, the main building, like the sports hall uh, rebuilding. Um, it it uh, rebuilt in uh, uh, 2017, so it's pretty uh, new. So I can show. I can share the screen. <laughs> I try. So can you see that? Yes, I can. I believe what I can also. So this is our male building. This is good for uh, every kind of sports. And this is the uh, running uh, track, but the old one. We already rebuilt it as well. Uh, I think no, vo no sound with the video. Oh, I don't know. How can I <laughs> turn it? Uh, OK, no problem. OK, she okay. can just continue talking and yeah, showing okay. what is in the video. OK. OK, so this is the rebuilding. Uh, of this building. So it has the new clothes, <laughs> as you can see, new colors. Uh, the mount that you can see is the official sports club. Uh, we have 11 sports, uh, competitive sports of this club. So if uh, anybody has some uh, high level uh, of uh, sports, uh, they can join. Uh, we are open uh, to continue that sport life here. So, as you can see, there's a many place to cheer our uh, teams. That's a very big uh, building. Yeah, and then... Yes, yeah, so this room was, this area was for the sport afternoons where the Zumba, yoga as well uh, are always in. You can see the artificial uh, grass there. There's a much functional uh, track <coughs> that you can play football, basketball as well. And there's the two artificial grass. Uh, we have an artificial, the small field football league. Uh, anybody can join in, just uh, uh, invite a couple of people and uh, participate in. Also, can I uh, tip some, something in, Rekha? Yes, of course. Okay, uh, and guys, you can see how uh, 
how the the facilities are how, how well they are built to standard so these are not just uh, 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 should I say simple constructions of just um, putting things together? They are they are built to standard. This port called the the the, run, the running uh, tracks and everything. And because of these, they 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 are up to standard and they are capable of even hosting events of like international uh, magnitude. And I think Reka has something to tell us about uh, a championship that's coming up that's coming up soon in Mishko. So you can imagine the university is all is going to host the whole of Europe. So I, Rekha has more information actually, and she's going to tell us about that. So that shows you how how uh, standardized the, the sport facilities are. So everything is available. If you you are very good in a particular sport, it could be swimming, it could be um, basketball, running, whatsoever it is. I, I believe me, there is a space here for you. So the, the facilities are there. All you have to do is just come with the skills. And if you are not the one that uh, is really focused with uh, with sports and you don't really have too much of the skill, just like I said before, and you just want to keep fit. So there's also room for you. The gyms are there. We have um, also we have two two in, intern, two gyms, I guess. We have one in Ifa and we have one in the uh, Uni Hotel, and we also have an outdoor gym. Uh, so all these all these are available to you. So I like Rekha to also. Um, talk to us about the the uh, uh, continental events, if I can call it that way, the European University events. It's a ma massive event which university is going to host sometime soon. Yes, thank you. So uh, it's true for our country and for this university and for our city as well that we want to uh, make bigger and bigger projects as well. Uh, we had a huge project in the past uh, few years as well, but we are uh, working on to uh, bring more and more and uh, bigger and bigger events. So we maybe, and we are working on that, uh, we organize a very huge project, the European University Games in uh, 2024 uh, with uh, Debrecen. And we want to invite uh, our uh, students and international students to participate in as well, like uh, volunteers and organizers. So if you are open uh, for this, uh, um, this kind of uh, ex experience, uh, cannot wait to join it and, uh, and uh, meet us uh, in the sports hall and uh, ask questions if you have. So we are smaller projects like uh, sports days and freshman uh, days as well. It's uh, yearly events and uh, you can join as well too. Uh, we had uh, a huge project uh, in, in uh, 2017 as well, like the, uh, the building uh, was rebuilt. Uh, so it was the basketball championship and uh, I want to share the after movie to get the feeling of this uh, kind of projects. And uh, I hope that will be some uh, uh, music as well, but I'm not sure. Okay. Uh, yeah, just un unmute the video. It's muted in YouTube. I just noticed, right? Uh, or I think it, it, you should raise, yeah. raise a few. Oh, there's still no audio.
thank you for sharing this video. I think uh, I start to think that we missed something before coming here, you know. <laughs> this was in 2017, I guess, right? Yes, but we are uh, planning uh, three, three or four times bigger event. Uh, because that was one sport like basketball, but we will have uh, 13 sports in Mishkot uh, in the same time, like uh, one and a half week. So it will be uh, more participants, more volunteers, and then more, more and more people here, and more and more program. <laughs> uh -huh. so count, me in, more... count me in volunteering. Yeah, so it will okay. be more like, like a mini Olympics. Uh, so to say yeah yeah it's it's like uh, a step the first step for an olympics yeah it's, it's cool yes. so um uh, guys i'm sorry for for the issue with the, the the audio and things like that but as you can see i think the, the message has been passed has been passed we have everything available for you if you want to uh, go to a university where you can live and study and not just study and also take care of other parts of your life and take care of your well-being as a sports person or as someone who wants to stay healthy. Uh, I believe uh, the University of Mishkot is a place for, for you to go. So I hope you'll, we will see some of you uh, next year. Thanks. Thank you, uh, Bernard. So there's a question about this uh, mini Olympiads, let's say, or this support event. When okay. will it be? It will be uh, 2024 in july in the summer uh-huh i see yes uh, yeah, yeah, yeah hopefully uh, answered. yeah yeah actually uh, the planning has already begun so very soon we will be looking at uh, involving some some volunteers as you know like when you plan for these major events you have to plan like years ahead so the planning has, has started and we're also calling for for participants either the already existing students or the students uh, that are yet to come, the potential students. If you are very good in a sport, you have the, the professional experience in any sport. So just know that, oh, there is an event somewhere that I might um, be able to take part in if, uh, if I can show that I'm really good. So uh, just as Rekha had mentioned, we have, we have the, 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 the uh, sports club in the university, that's the MEFC, that's correct, right, Rekha? Yes. 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 And there are about 13 different sports. So you can just show that you are good enough and you will, you, you will join this, this, um, this uh, sports club and compete for the university. So it, it's a two-way thing, either take part as an athlete, as a uh, competitor for the university or take part as a volunteer. So international students will be fully involved in this event that's coming up. So from next year, I believe there will, there will be more calls for people to take part. So those that are already in the university, I'm sure some people might be watching if you need some maybe more information you can talk to me or you can reach out to the sports center directly. Um, unfortunately, due to the virus, we can't visit the buildings, but you, you have our contact details so you can reach out to any of us. So uh, thank you so much. That was a very important question. Thank you very much. Uh, okay, so now it's time for some questions based on students' feedbacks. Uh, Hariri, I think this question is for you first. Um, you know, sometimes um, some students, uh, when they arrive to, uh, to the university, they think about leaving the dormitory and uh, rent uh, outside. Uh, can you give us some information about when is the right time to leave the dormitory? Can they leave it from the beginning or there is some obligations to stay? In uh, normal situation, yeah, yeah, they can leave the dormitory immediately or even be, uh, they can rent uh, directly be before coming to the dorm. And most students uh, live in a uh, near neighborhood called Avash, Kilato. Uh, I think Bernard is living there. Yes. Uh, <laughs> and it's really easy to find uh, a house, especially like if they started searching in summer before coming uh, using Facebook groups. There is like mainly two groups to search for uh, good rooms. And uh, the cost uh, can vary from 60,000 foreign uh, to 90,000 foreign for two rooms. And, um, and, they, and for, from, from my personal point of view, I think uh, 
it's the best option to come to the dorm for the first semester and then search for a, for a room in the first semester. Mm -hmm. Because uh, I, I think that if they sign the contract with the dorm, they cannot leave. Uh, they will not get the, the dorm, the, the, the students, right? If they leave. Yes, they have to uh, to inform the, the dormitory management before 30 days at least. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, but I, I believe that the new rule says that if you arrive, uh, you should stay at least for one semester. After that, you can leave the dormitory. Mm -hmm. Yes. After, after, after one semester, if you sign the contract, then you cannot leave uh, uh, only after one semester, I believe. And... Uh, for the sports uh, activities. Now, sometimes, you know, the students need, if they want to form like, uh, to, to make a, a, a small football league, for example, can they arrange that by themselves? Uh, like choosing uh, teams and stuff, or they should first co coordinate with the sports center. What's, what's the right procedure for that? Um, we have already a football league, so they can join in firstly, but if they want to make a smaller one, uh, they want to contact us because they have to uh, rent the track, of course, and uh, we can help them to get cups and, and uh, coordinate as well, helping with this. But I think firstly, they should uh, contact with us and we can inform uh, them, but it's possible, of course. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, I believe those were all the questions uh, I have. So um, I think we reached the end of this lovely session. Thank you everyone for joining us and uh, talking about uh, to us about the dormitory and the sports center. Thank you. Uh, Rika for uh, joining us today. Uh, thank you, Bernard and uh, Hariri. So uh, yeah, this this uh, session uh, is recorded and will be uploaded to our YouTube and Facebook uh, page. So uh, it will be a good reference, I believe, for uh, prospective students in the future. Uh, thank you very much and have a nice evening. Have a nice evening. Bye. Bye. Thanks for having me. Bye. Bye.